Good evening freelancers, welcome to another Anthem video. I'm PTT and tonight we're going to be covering all of the new information that has just been dropped by the Anthem team over on the official Anthem website. Now as always if you want to go and check it out for yourselves the link can be found in the video description and I highly recommend you do check this one out guys because it is rammed with useful knowledge and information. Now anyway with all of that aside let's just jump straight into it. So we're going to kick things off then with some information on new NPCs that can be found in and around Fort Tarsis. We will start with a bit of information about one character we have already seen and that is Halleck. So Halleck is quoted as being a legendary freelancer, an all-round badass and a mentor for younger freelancers. Now, as of the moment, we don't know at what point of experience our personal freelancers will be in Anthem. They may be semi-battle-hardened warriors from the get-go, or they may be very young and inexperienced pilots that are under the wings, so to speak, of Halak. But one thing is for sure, we will be spending a lot of time surrounded by this character, and from the other details we have on him, I personally strongly believe that before Anthem's story finishes, Halak may have a bigger part to play in the overall story. Now it's also worth noting that Halak is the driver of the Strider and for those who are unaware the Strider is what we know to be our freelancers mobile base of operations. Now not much is currently known about how the Strider actually works so this is something that I can't wait to check out tomorrow if it is indeed available in the demo build. Next then we have a few minor details on some other members of our Strider crew and they are Faye and Owen Corley. Now both of these characters hold a role in the team called Cypher and all I can tell you right now about this particular role is that a Cypher apparently has some kind of rare gift that allows for mental communication. Now how this ties into our pilots and javelins I have no idea but right now I'm actually imagining some kind of Jarvis like voice in our suits or our pilot's head that relays important information but again like everything we know so far we will have to wait for more before we know for sure. Next then we get a little more clarification on some progression systems that tie to our pilots and javelins. Now I know we have covered progression very in depth in an earlier video so let's go over only the new parts of information. Starting off then let's just give a quick basic roundup so we're all on the same page. Our pilots and javelins are both individually upgradable and customizable. Our pilot has its own level and each of our javelins has a unique collection of equipment. As we progress and level up, our pilot will receive points to upgrade and our javelin will collect new equipment, giving greater power and more options to our loadout. This, however, is not it, and we now have some more specifics on the independent pilot and javelin levelling. So I mentioned a moment ago that our pilot will get upgrade points as we level up, and we now know that these points will be spent on a system similar to that of Assassin's Creed where you spec into certain non-javelin exclusive skills like flying for longer periods of time without overheating, or skills that will allow for greater mobility during combat. Now these are only two examples, and I hope that we will be able to see a full list of pilot upgrades this weekend when the demo goes live, and you can be sure that if we do get to see them, I will be sure to do a video covering all of the pilot skills that will be available in the game at launch. Next then, let's talk about the javelins, because just like our pilot, our javelins also have their own direct progression system. Now sadly, the new article didn't really give us any new information, but I do want to remind newer viewers that maybe don't know that the javelins will be fully customizable in a various amount of ways, but the best way is via components that can directly alter your javelin's abilities, weapon damage, and a whole host of other things too. So yeah, look, you know, javelin build is definitely something I will be delving into at a later date, so stay tuned for more information on this topic after this weekend's demo has taken place. Next then, and this is the big one, let's talk about combat. Now this will be a lot of sum up information, but also a little bit of new information, so bear with me if there is anything you've already heard. Starting off then, let's talk about mobility. Now this seems like an obvious one to me to say that we're actually in flying exosuits, but it's something worth noting that just because you have guns and can run along the ground, your javelins are also very adapt flying machines and are just as, if not more lethal, when taken to the skies. So yeah, guys, don't sleep on the idea of raining down hell on your enemies from above. Moving on, let's mention health and ammo drops. Now I'm not sure if I've ever actually touched on this subject, but in Anthem, health and ammo will drop to the ground upon killing enemies. Now this health and ammo is instanced to you, so don't worry about your teammates taking your valuable ammo and health. 
It's also worth noting that if you're running low on ammo, then using your abilities for kills will work very nicely in providing you with a select amount of ammo dropped from the enemy slain. Next then a quick mention to spatial awareness and enemy targeting because just as your javelins can take to the sky so can many of Anthem's enemy so make sure to keep an eye on the sky for potential threats lurking from above. Next I will mention combos and while I don't want to go into too much detail about this because to be honest I'm not totally clued up on how they work exactly I will say that this is a mechanic you will want to learn and build to as soon as possible. Combos are a way to hit enemy extremely hard and come in various ways with various elements being used for catalysts to great effect. Now what I will do is link a video in the video description going in depth about how combos work and hopefully you guys will be a bit more informed on how these work before tomorrow's demo. Moving on to another very obvious topic, and that is enemy weak spots. I say obvious because I believe that pretty much all shooter games have some form of weak spots on enemy AI, but this again is definitely something you will want to try and learn very quickly. What enemy has a certain weak spot and where it is can prove very valuable information, especially when tackling later end game activities. Now again, I will post a video after the demo with all of the enemy that I encounter and their weaknesses slash weak spots, so stay tuned for that later down the line. And finally guys, one more bit of information I want to bring to your attention, and that is the fact that the Anthem dev team have already proven that they are listening to what we as gamers would like to see in the game, because they have introduced a new area to Fort Tarsus called the Launch Bay. Now there isn't too many details on this as of yet, but what we do know is that the Launch Bay is an area that we can go to after a mission or free roam with our fire team, and all be in one place together. We can grab new missions in this area, use the forge, and of course show off our sexy ass Japanese to fellow freelancers because this will indeed be a social hub where more freelancers than just our fire team will be. If you need an example, think of Destiny's Tower or the Division's Terminal. Now this has me extremely happy guys because it just goes to prove that the dev team are in fact listening and are already prepared to make changes to a game that isn't even fully launched yet. So yeah, thumbs up to all the Anthem team here. It's great to see things like this so close to launch. And that guys will wrap up the video. Now hopefully you found it all helpful as I've said many times now I have plenty of videos to bring your way over the coming days so stay tuned. As always let me know any thoughts you have in the comment section down below. Let me apologise for the state of my voice if you didn't know by now I have a seriously bad cold. Hopefully it is a, it's gone by tomorrow night because we will be streaming the Anthem demo live on Mixer so yeah make sure to come and check that out. As always guys let me say thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. Have a good night, and until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.